Sagittarius, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, or wherever Sagittarius energy influences your natal chart. You can apply these energies for the next seven days out. Let's get right into it, Sagittarius. If you have not subscribed, please do. And ring that bell so you know when I go live and upload all this content. Also, Sagittarius... There is always an extended video re in relationship to this video. So we're going to do the full oracle card reading here. And then on the other side, I do a full tarot card extended read and romance read for the next seven days out. Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising. Sagittarius, thank you all so much. And I hope you have a beautiful and happy new year. Because the next time I see you, it will be 2020. And 2020 is going to work us and test us, but also reward us in ways that I think are completely outside of and beyond our imagination. So I hope that you're, well, as ready as you'll ever be. Sagittarius energy, Sagittarius energy for the next seven days. Sagittarius energy for the next seven days. Watch and wait. Patience is required. That's your crowning energy. That's a test. I'll tell you that right now because Sagittarius says you guys don't like to wait. That card really wants to come out, those cards. You waiting is it's it's not your thing. <laughs> it's not it's not what you do. You don't like to sit around. It's just not who you are. But watch and wait because there's information that you need to take in. And there's something that you need more information on. <sighs> That's just your crowning energy. More crowning energy has come out too. Let's let's talk about it. There's something from your past that may come back up to ha not haunt you. <clears throat> I don't like to use that word because it is, mm, in some people's eyes, it's a technical term. But there is definitely something that you maybe have overlooked or something that could creep up from the past that you have overlooked and you have not paid attention to. So you're watching out for that. You're almost like... This is the energy of the watchtower or the lighthouse and that beacon light going around and around and around. Remember, the beacon light is two things. It serves to, well, number one, it serves to tell sailors that there's rocks here. Watch out. But it also is a sign of hope in the night, especially in a stormy night, because even though there's rocks there, you got to watch out for them. <laughs> you can't sail into them. That's dangerous. The fact that you see a lighthouse is also a sign of life. It's a sign that something is coming and something is there. It's a sign of life. It's a sign of hope. And so I think what you need to watch out for is it's almost like there's these two things, these contrasting things happening at the same time in that it is a sign of hope. There is a sign of life and maybe something from the past is coming back that needs to be discussed or you need more information on something that you had fun with in the past and yet for some reason it, it was reluctant to be carried into the future or you had to let it go but you never completely let it go. This is looking out for it, seeing maybe tidbits of signs of hope sprinkling in over the next seven days. Um, but also understanding that even though it's a sign of hope, it's still alerting you to the fact that there's danger. You understand? It's like, yes, there's land and that's good because you need the land, but you have to be very careful how you approach it because this is rocky terrain in stormy weather and that's what you're approaching when you approach a beacon light from a lighthouse. So this is something that you do have to be patient with. Don't rush at this. This is not something that you can feel so comfortable with you can throw caution to the wind. No, be cautious of the wind. For the next seven days. Ooh, and that's just your crowning energy. Think on your feet. Oh, this is your energy. This is your card. And it goes right along with this crowning energy of be ready to improvise. Be ready. Yes, yes. Be thoughtful. Don't jump into anything this week, but be ready to improvise because something's coming at you. This is definitely a bunch of curveballs and keep your mind wide open. This is an energy of basically the most open-mindedness in the deck. Why? Because in order to improvise and apply all of your skills, all of your intellect, all of your humor, all of your talents, apply yourself to a situation appropriately. Sagittarius, you're going to need your brain wide open. No expectations here. No expectations because I think if you have expectations, they will lead you down the wrong path. They will get you into a situation that 
could be very dangerous for you. So be on the lookout and be sort of above it all and make sure that you're not expecting anything, but you're ready for everything. Um, time to collaborate. I just keep seeing ships. I just keep seeing ships. I just keep seeing boats and sailing. This is, is your team ready? Are you with your star people? There's, in other words, you are going to need to ask for help this week. There is a sense of people coming together, people that you're going to need to help you. Uh, you can't do this work on your own and you can't get through this by yourself. And I feel like there's something this circumstance has to do with an event that in the past you had tried to handle it all by yourself. But there's definitely a coming together of a bunch of people, maybe people you didn't expect to see, or maybe people that you know um, you haven't seen for a while. Whatever it is, this is an energy of you're not going to be able to do this by yourself. So are you ready to ask for the help that you need? Don't expect, don't expect, but know that it's something that you need to remain open to, to ask people for help. And whoever gives you the help, it may be a surprise as to who ends up giving you the help, Whatever it is, there is this energy of do not try to do this by yourself this week. The miracles are endless. You're going to get the help that you need and you're going to have all the resources you need. When this card is present, you don't have to worry about the money and you don't have to worry about the resources. In fact, that's what this collaboration could be helping you with to find the resources and have the money. You could be actually just reminiscing about a time not too long ago when you were in a situation surrounded by people that you really, really loved and you were expecting to see these people or be re uh, reconciled or reunited with these people and you're still watching and wondering if it's going to happen. Please let me, then this is why this card is think on your feet improvisation. Know this Sagittarius that no two times are alike. No two moments are the same. So that's where I want you to drop the expectations because everything can be a good thing as long as you allow it to be itself and don't hold it up in comparison to something else. So that's where this sense of it could disappoint you or you could get into danger. If you decide that this moment, because it involves similar people in a similar situation or something like that, if you decide that this moment is something that um, um, sh you decide that you know what it's supposed to be because there were similar players or similar ingredients before, as a baker, um, I know that yes, you follow recipes and there's consistency, but it's just like a live performance, it's just like improv. Something's always different each time. Any time that you live in a moment, something's always a little bit different. So be prepared for that. You will have the resources. You will have the abundance. And this looks to be something beautiful and happy as long as you allow it to be. Um, Owl Spirit is once again in reverse. You see things clearly now. Something is hidden from you. Something is going to surprise you. That's the central energy. So it could be your energy. You could be the one surprising somebody because you're on the flip side now. You're the one giving the abundance. You're the one giving the help. You're the one showing up unexpectedly. That very much could be your energy this week. Either way, there's something that's going to be coming out of the blue. An energy of maybe just you having more capabilities than you ever imagined were possible. But the bottom line is there is something that is unexpected that will have to be what you incorporate into any project that you're working on or any communications or uh, coordinated efforts that you work on this week. Um, trust in the magic. So this is a new beginning, a new start, okay? And trust in divine detours. Trust, trust, trust. Trust and hope go hand in hand, right? And then we have trust in the white raven spirit is a new beginning. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a bird. It's a little baby bird. You know, it's a, it's, it's just been born. This is a new year also speaking to this new year coming up that has just holds so much abundance if we know exactly what order to place the code numbers in to unlock the door that is keeping it from us to see who is the worthy, who is the person who can figure this out. This is, 
I just got this. This is, oh my God, my heart just beats so fast. This is like Ravenclaw. You know what I'm saying? If, if you know the Harry Potter series, this is like the energy of Ravenclaw. It's like they're, they don't have one password. They have a different riddle every time they try to get into their common common room, right? So it has to be with their cleverness. They have to think on their feet, but this is also philosophical. So this is right up your alley as long as you allow your mind to be broad and not make any decisions beforehand. That's how you are. Riddle, riddle me this, Sagittarius. Riddle me this because it's going to be a test of your wit and wisdom these next seven days. You're going to have everything that you need. I don't see any danger, but there's going to be a lot of things that are coming at you. And how you react to them is, it, I feel like you're being tested. Trust in divine detours. Oh, okay. This is good for you. This is, this is also Sagittarius energy. This is be willing to go somewhere, be willing to go in a direction that you didn't expect. So that's why if you expected something to go the way you were supposed to go, maybe you're not going to travel to the same place. Maybe you're traveling to another place. Maybe something happened with the airlines or you get a warning. It comes out of the blue and it says, oh, there's a weather, weather warning. Now think on your feet. Where else can you go? Uh, the airlines will be willing to work with you to switch those tickets so that you don't have to worry about not being able to afford it. That will not be what holds you back. What is the temptation to hold you back are two things. One, the expectation of everything being the same. And two, not wanting to ask for help. Those are the two challenges that you're going to be tested with the this week mm. i wish those i wish messages like that came out clear for every freaking reading that i do sag honestly all right sagittarius sagittarius mm. uh, unexpected new beginning in oh now this could be this could even be like like a, a job offer that you that you wanted or expected it, it, it's not the job offer that ends up making an offer to you do you know what I'm saying? But there is an unexpected new beginning that is in a different direction than you were looking. Here we have let it shine. So somebody is listening, but it's also the spotlight. It's also a spotlight of picking up something that's important that was hidden in the dark. So what is it that's hidden in the dark? And I feel like this could be that new opportunity coming through for you, Sagittarius. Something that you didn't even expect. You didn't have your sights set on. Uh oh. Wow, hold on. Act as if. So this is your grounding energy. <sighs> Shedding your skin. But this is also fake it till you make it. Okay, let's see. And more, we need more grounding energy. Come on. It's a little frustrating. Be at home. Okay. One more for the grounding energy. One more card, one more card, one more card for the grounding energy. Oh, Jesus. This is a little bit clearer. You're not very happy at home. Uh, there's something that's been growing. There's something that's been unsettled underneath the surface. This doesn't have to do with a specific person. It's more a discontentment inside yourself. And the truth is this, you have been worried. You have been more worried than you've been letting on. This is the grounding energy. Uh, you don't want to be in the house as much as you are. You don't want to be bound to the home as much as you are. Um, and that, that has been building little by little. Little by little, things have been building in the walls. Tend to the little things. What are the things that, you haven't, that you've been trying to sweep under the carpet? Because now you have big piles that you're starting to trip over. So this grounding energy, this realistic energy is, hey, you're going to have to deal with all this stuff this week. It's important. It's also important to set that tone for the next year and understand that anything you've swept under the carpet, Sagittarius, is going to come back to haunt you if you don't deal with it. Because... Saturnian energy, the fortune, the fortune that you're going to have this year to tap into fortune, Jupiter, the planet of fortune and, and, and prosperity is now in Capricorn and you are ruled by Jupiter. My Jupiter is now strongly influenced by Capricornian energy. And what is Capricornian energy? Get to it. Don't leave it to the last minute. 
think in advance, schedule things. And that is very contrary to the way that you're used to playing this game. So maybe cosmically, this is speaking about the huge divine detour that you're going to have to take to your personality. And, and understand, you can't force it all on yourself all at once. You can't be somebody that you're not, but you can make different choices. So start with those things that are the most obvious. There is something at home and that's why this is your grounding energy. This challenge is like that first tier workout session, you know, where you only do cardio for five minutes and you only do like 10 squats and, and five push-ups afterward because you have to start somewhere and you have to start small. So start with those tiny things that are in your home. Start with those things that are upsetting you around the house. Start with those things that you have pretended or hid away or, or, or not addressed that are really like the things that are obvious to you. Start with those things and that energy will ground you and actually help to set up a really positive energy flow as we go into the next year. Let me flip the camera around, hold on. So here we are on the table, bada bing bada boom. Here we go, there we go. Now what does this all mean? Out of the blue, something is coming out of the blue. Now, this is just because this is your grounding energy, there, there's two things happening simultaneously. <laughs> Understand that, that there's going to be unexpected, wonderful things happening. But see, this is the thing. Don't get your sights set. Go very slow. Remember the analogy that I made of the lighthouse. Yes, this is a good reason for hope, but there's also a reason to remain diligent. Because a lighthouse does mean that land is nearby, but it means it's rocky land that could crash your boat, so you still have to very much watch out where you're sailing. So do not go into this week with expectations. Go into it right there up on your feet, ready for anything. You will have the resources. Don't worry about that. Spirit's got you covered. But there is something that is coming, bam. It's going to surprise you. I don't think it's going to be something bad. I actually think it's going to be something very, very good, but something that you weren't necessarily prepared for or ready for. Something that you didn't ask for. An opportunity, a new beginning coming in an in an air in an area like a profession or whatever or a um or from a direction that you didn't that you didn't expect in fact you may have to leave your home you may have th this is more discontentment though of you, there's something that's been bothering you and you need to address it and i think the solution is going to come this week but it's going to come from an unexpected place let's dig a little bit deeper into exactly what that place is what those opportunities are going to be and what other challenges you may face we're going to do a full tarot spread to articulate everything. And then I'm also going to get into your romantic for the next seven days. I will see you over there. The link is below.